Canva Brand Kit tutorial, create a brand kit in Canva. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a brand kit using Canva. So through Canva, you can create stunning designs with this awesome suite of features, and one of which is creating a brand kit. So before we get started with this tutorial, you can sign up to try this feature in a free trial with the link in the description box, so make sure to check it out. Back to the tutorial, BrandKit allows you to build a brand from scratch or add your existing brand assets, so you can stay on brand with every design. Also, you can build your brand kit, so you can easily drag and drop your brand logo, brand colors, and even your own fonts to your brand kit. You can also manage multiple brands in case you are managing more than one brand. So with BrandKit, you can create and manage up to 100 separate brands all in the one place. And also, it is part of the Canva Pro Bundle, so you can produce high-quality designs with this particular feature right here. So let's go back to the homepage of Canva and let's get started with creating a brand kit. So let's focus on the left part of this dashboard and let's just scroll down and find this brand kit tool right here and click on it. First, we're going to name our brand kit by clicking on this pencil logo right here and let's just type in your desired brand kit name. After that, we have a designated part right here for the brand logo. So let's just click on this plus sign and upload your particular logo and wait for it to load. So Canva then automatically extract colors from your logo and you can choose to keep or remove this particular palette. So I'm just going to keep it so that it will match with the logo I have right here. Also, you can click on this plus button to add more colors and add more diversity or variations of the shades for your designs. So let's just use this color wheel right here and hover through the preferred shade you have for a particular color. And you can also paste in color codes right here for a more specific color shade for your logo or brand. And you can add in as many colors as you want. So next is the brand fonts. So we have textiles right here. This is for the heading, subheading, and the body font. So just click on this pencil icon right beside each part of the text and you can click on any font you want for the heading right here. Next, for the subheading, you can also choose the font you want that you think is appropriate for the subheading font. So I'm just going to click on Code Pro. And lastly, for the font of the body text you have, let's opt for a thinner font right here. And I'm going to click on Glacial Indifference. So that is for the brand fonts. Also, you can choose to upload a font you have downloaded through an online source. And after you have uploaded that particular font, you can access them through right here. Just click on uploaded fonts and it will be shown right here and you can use it for your brand fonts. So that is it for setting up your brand kit. You can also add in this cover palettes and you can Click on this add brand kit right here if you want to set up a whole new brand kit. So after you have set up your brand kit, we can try it out and create a design right here to see if we can easily access this team brand kit that we just created. So once the canvas has loaded, we can access the brand kits when creating a design. So as you can see, you have many options right here at the left part of the screen. And you can just click on the logos feature right here. And this is where you can access the logo for a particular brand kit. So let's just wait for it to load. And there we can see our logo. You just click on it and it will be added to your canvas right here. So let's try it out and let's create, for example, a teaser for your particular project. So I'm just going to um, select a particular shape right here. So I'm going to add in this shape and set it at the corner of our design right here. 
and let's click on this color so that we can customize this color and here we can access the color palette from our brand kit so this is all the colors that we have and we can set it from any color from that color palette so that so as you can see it matches the logo very well and you can create designs that are in theme of your brand all throughout your project campaign so let's try to create a particular design right now let's add in an element let's search for megaphone and go to the graphics tab and let's wait for some elements to load well, i'm going to click on this particular element so let's offer an element where we can customize the colors just like this one and i'm going to set the colors that can be matched from our color palette that we set up so i'm just going to change the colors right here and that looks better for our design overall you can also change the other colors or right here now let's add in the text of our sample design. So as you can see, this is branded font that we set up. Let's just click on it and type in some text. Adjust the line spacing and the alignment. And this is for the subheading. You can also adjust the size as you create the design. example you type in some details right here and body text so for the body text you can opt in for a longer detail right here so i'm just going to type in random letters to symbolize the body text right here so that is actually it see how we can easily access a brand kit font the colors the logo and we can add in elements and just easily customize these colors to match with our logo or the brand kit colors that we just set up as well as the fonts so that we can easily access and add it through our every design for your every project campaign of the brand and you can just click on share and download it to whichever format you want and share on your social for the promotion of your project so that is actually it for our tutorial on how to create a brand kit using Canva. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a like if this video helped you out and see you on the next one.